Stars presents the Minnesota North Stars. Tonight, entertaining the St. Louis Blues, live from Met Center. Brought to you by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. When you play the Minnesota North Stars, is the for us, anyway, we want to play a tight checking game. I think uh, there's no doubt that we can't match the, the North Stars' scoring prowess. Uh, they've got too many goal scorers for us. Uh, we have to make sure that we play uh, tight and that we do a good job in our own end and hope to capitalize on our opportunity. As well, when you play the Stars, you've got to stop their power play. They've got some great scorers, Cicerelli, uh, some great individuals on the power play, so you've got to be able to stop their, their, their power play unit, and let's hope that we could capitalize on our power plays. Well, St. Louis Blues uh, are always a tough team. Uh, the rivalry last year in the playoffs, uh, we've got uh, a great rivalry developed between two teams. We've played them two years in a row in the playoffs. I think uh, in, in similar styles, they they're similar. Uh, they like to always uh, keep us off balance and check us. Uh, and Detroit's got the same style going now. Demir's obviously from last year, and uh, St. Louis carried on the same uh, style this year. They try and keep us off balance, try and slow us down, and we've got an offensive team, and they, they try and frustrate us. Uh, you know, they've got some people there that uh, are great with the puck, Gilmore, Paderko, Ronning, and we have to shut down. But overall, we have to use our speed and uh, to generate some things offensively. We've been a little uptight the last few games, and. Uh, we have to get back to where we're scoring goals and loosening up and uh, making things happen. And, uh, St. Louis, uh, we're fighting for second spot overall, so it uh, should be an excellent hockey game. Our national anthem from the Met Center, and it is very difficult to make the transition from the news about John Mariucci, even though we anticipated it for four years, onto, and into the uh, hockey game tonight. But keep in mind, if you will, that even in his last few days here among us, one of the sole sources of joy that John Mariucci had were those people who brought memories of the game of hockey to him. And so on that note, I'm sure he would want all of us to enjoy tonight's game. Our goaltenders tonight first for the St. Louis Blues are Greg Millen, who has five games below 500 with a 361 goals against average. Millen is a 8-3-1 record against the North Stars. And Don Beaupre will be back in the nets for the North Stars as Lord Henning seems to go back into an alternating pattern here after Kerry Taco had a rather struggling performance at Hartford over the weekend. Now play is underway in the first period as the Blues slip it in and the North Stars begin the game with a new line combination as that's Brian McClellan on the left, Mark Pavlich at center, and Dirk Graham on the right wing. Here's Doug Gilmore, their leading scorer, dumping it off into the corner. Brian Benning tries to clear it, and it squirts free to center ice. Brought in by Pizlowski. Greg Pizlowski's shot is stopped by Beaupre, and Roberts clears the puck away. Now McClellan ahead for Dirk Graham. Checked at the line by Benning, and Gino Cavallini has it for the Blues. Around to Charlie Bourgeois. Shovels it ahead to center ice a bit too far, and... Grabbed now by Gordy Roberts again. Over to Bob Rouse. Rouse driving it in, and Millen stops it back behind the net. Benning is there to pick it up. Lawton goes in after the puck, but it's cleared right back to Captain Craig Hartsburg, and Hartsburg will drive it back into the zone. Now Benning has it again. A minute into the game, no score. Mark Reeds at center ice. It goes off his stick. It's jammed to the Minnesota line, where Dennis Marook is there to pick it up. Baruch Lawton and Cicerelli, one of the North Stars' more effective forward lines of late. Hartsburg got it in, and it apparently was deflected at the line and eventually called on the offside. Uh, Daniel Cicerelli wearing that face shield because of the stick that he took from Greg Johnson the other night in Boston. Put it on for the Hartford game. Didn't miss the shift, so he's still the only North Star to have played in all games so far this year. Well, he looks like he was in a barroom brawl. <laughs> five stitches there. There's a look at the all-time series 
record. The Blues lead the series this year with three wins, two losses, and a tie. Brian Lawton doing a little forechecking. Now it's out to Hunter at center right. Mark Hunter drops it back. Tim Bothwell gets in past Gronstrand, and his shot was stopped by Beaupre. Now they jam up for in the corner as Hunter was knocked down by Cicerelli, and play is called. Captain Hartsburg down on the puck there. He's in his eighth year in the National Hockey League, also spent one year in the World Hockey Association. Leads a team in assists and is second overall in points. And really a country mile behind Dino, who has had just an outstanding year, now has 94 points. Dino looking through that black eye for maybe 100. <laughs> he's in elite company, having got the kind of season that he's had. The Blues and the Blackhawks are tied with 68 points in second and third place in the North Division. The North Stars in fourth place, but just one point behind them. So the North Stars, even though they've been struggling with a win here tonight, could vault right up into second place. Now the Blues keep the pressure on. Here's a backhand shot that slides across the goal mouth. Hunter with a glorious chance, and I think Beaupre may have gotten just enough of it to deflect it wide. Here's Bob Brook with a long shot that's gloved by Millen, and he holds on. Oh, that was a dangerous run back at the other end of the building. A little bit of sloppy play in the North Star zone. They were thinking offense and moving up the ice with the puck. Look at there's four guys coming up. They forgot about Hunter back behind the play. And it looks like just the edge of the pad got a piece of the puck. Hunter's backhander looked like it would have been off target anyways, but Donnie tested early and comes up with a great save, really saving his defense. Now Paul Hauk on the ice after being called up from Springfield at center. I'm sorry, that's Ramo Hellman in playing on the wing there. Our stars again trying different line combinations. Have Hellman in with Bellows and Brook at the line. A long shot by Pavic hits the goal post. May have hit both goal posts and went out. Prior to center ice for Bellows a long shot and Millen blocks that one right into the crowd. Well, the early offensive opportunities are definitely in the Blues' advantage right now as Beaupre gets a little lady luck on his side. Puck comes back to the point right here. And Jim Pavis, not known for scoring, cranks it off one post, it grazes the other, and headed out towards the corner in the faceoff circle. Pavis. Letting that shot go, and woo, you need some luck on your side sometimes, and I think maybe a little of that Irish leftover from last week. St. Patty's Day is lingering with Donnie in his green pads. Now from the draw, a quick shot goes by to the net, and Todd Ewan tries to clear it out. Now another shot blocked by Millen, and Rob Ramage goes after it, playing it ahead to Wickenheiser. He's jammed up by Roberts, but gets the puck to center, and as Ewan touches it, it's a two-line offside. The type of game we've seen so far indicates a very offensive-minded game. We were talking with that man, Jacques Martin, earlier today, and he was telling us that, I don't want to get involved in a shootout. We're not that kind of a team. You can't play in shootouts. We have to tighten up our defense. That's what we want to do over the last remaining games here. The Blues have given up 21 goals in their last four contests, well above their season's average of around 3.6. Now Bob Rouse at the blue line, trying to keep it in. Brooke helps out. Acton shoots. Millen the save. Brooke tries to center it. Roberts pokes at it. And it squirts free to Todd Ewan at center ice. Ewan, a rookie, throwing it ahead too far for Flockhart. Rouse is hit behind the net by Ewan, who is a real tough customer. And now he's going to get a penalty. Rouse may go as well, but I think Ewan will get more. Now Ewan gave him a good slash to start the whole thing up. Oh, a good uppercut there by Rouse. Now he's got him in a disadvantage. Out there for one purpose, and that's to start some trouble. Get those guys out. That's what the instigator rule is put into the league for. There are the specialty team statistics, as you saw the North Stars third best in the league. And amazingly, they have the number one power play on home ice. Rolls down the back, cleared around by Natras. Hartsburg keeps it in. Now 
Cicerelli trying to tee it up. Back to the line for Hartsburg. To Dino again. Out of the corner for Pavlich. Pavlich is checked. It comes loose, and it's cleared by Bothwell, and he gets it out of the zone. Now a little forechecking pressure by Mahar, and also getting some help on the play from Plockhart as his shot was stopped by Beaupre. And then our stars come back. Dirk Graham leading this rush with 1-10 to go on the power play. Graham throwing it in. Millen clearing it away, intercepted by Flockhart, trying to clear it, and he does. Exactly one minute to go on the minor penalty to the Blues. A penalty to Ewan. Now Millen back behind the net. Cleared again by Bothwell and cleared all the way down again. A little tough going on the points for the North Stars. And able, here's a loose puck in front for Pizlowski. And Beaupre makes a big save. Oh, they almost gave up another shorthanded goal. North Stars have already given up 18 of those this year. Oh, oh. Here's another steal by Gilmore this time. And Boudelier comes back to break it up. Now to Marook at center. And the fans are really getting on the team. Marook can't bring it in. North Stars a little overzealous on the power play. Now they'll try again. Marook to Lawton. 10 on the power play. Marook's deflected shot was tipped away by Millen. Boudelier to Marook. Back into the corner for Bellows. Minor penalty is over. We're five skaters aside as Flockhart comes back on. Now Marook has it. Jamming it around on the boards to Lawton. Looking for Bellows. He stops. He's really crowded in. Marook to the side of the net for Bellows. He is wrapped up. He shoots. Millen blocks it. It's in it again. And it's jammed wide of the net. Lawton in the slot. Great stick control by Lawton. And finally, he's knocked down. And the North Stars will shoot it in offside just to get a whistle here, I think. Well, that was a brutal start to that power play, but an exceptional finish. Brian Lawton doing some outstanding work, keeping it alive as he had three blues draped all over him. One, Greg Kozlowski. And St. Louis are having a couple of glorious chances. Gilmore centering it out in front here to Pazlowski. Can't quite get the shot off that he wants. Beaupre, a tremendous save. But the Blues not only had one, they had two very good chances to put it away. Then Marek feeding it to the side of the goal. And this is where the North Stars are best at setting up. Bellows bouncing off a couple of checks, was going upstairs, and he had some room there. But Greg Millen making the save. The North Stars trying to keep the pressure on. And then Lawton here with players all over him, finally knocked down. A great effort to finish off the power play for the North Stars. We played almost six minutes and no score yet. Next time your fans are thinking about being critical of Brian Lawton not being able to hang on to a puck or stay on his skates, remember that play. And we'll see if we get a few more of them between now and the end of the season. Lawton showed remarkable durability there. Federko centers it and it's grabbed by DePalma. At center right. Drops it to Acton, carrying it in. Acton goes behind the net. Circles the wagon, centers it in front for Pryor. Now to Acton for a quick release. Millen a big save. Rebound is loose. Out to go. started it when he brought the puck in the zone, rounded the net right here, and saw Pryor breaking in from the point. The pass was perfect across the ice. Pryor dropped it right back. The first shot blocked. Now watch Hulk here in front. He does a lot of work battling off three blues. It comes back, and Acton this time takes a good aim and beats Millen on his sixth side. Great effort by Keith Acton as he chips in his 16th of the year on a well-placed wrist shot. Watch for Hulk. And maybe prior to pick up assists on that goal. One to nothing, but our stars lead. Benning driving it in. It comes loose out of the corner. Now Hartsburg shovels it ahead to Brook. Back to Craig Hartsburg. Three on two. Bellows in over the line in the slot. And a good back checking play by the Blues. Raglan clearing it all the way down. 
Now here's Hartsburg. Checked on the play, gets it back to Brooke. Now to Bellows. And a long lead pass grabbed at center ice by Hellman, or at least he tried to. It's onside. Brooks centers it, and it comes right through. Now Mahar picks it up for the Blues. Rick Mahar, number 22, looking for his 100th career goal. Has 99 right now. And the North Stars clear it down. Rob Ramage goes back for it. Over to Jim Pavit. Pass picked off by McClellan. Let's a shot go! in just over a minute. Brian McClellan stepping into the neutral zone, picking off that pass. He had only Ramage to beat and went for the same position. The stick side of Greg Millen about two feet off the ice. North Star is reading the play very well in the neutral zone, picking up their checks. And you saw McClellan just moving in on the Blues player and intercepting that Jim Pavese pass and letting go that shot past Greg Millen. A minute and two seconds apart, and there's McClellan, his 29th of the year, bordering on that 30-goal plateau for the second time in his career. Mark Pavlich goes after it, but it bounced away, and then it's shot back in the zone. Back behind the net, here's Robert. Now gets center to Pavlich. Pavlich carrying it in. Pavlich centering it, and it was knocked away and grabbed by the Blues. Here's Pozlowski. Out to Gilmore at center, and he flips it in. Cavallini goes in after it, shooting it behind the net. Kozlowski is there. Kozlowski in front. His shot goes into the corner, and it's grabbed by McClellan. Now Brian McClellan at center right to Hauk. In for Graham, back to Hauk. Back for Pavlich, and that pass just failed to click. Back to center, here's Gilmore. High-scoring center right for the Blues. Checked at the line. Bothwell has it. He's bumped by Hartsburg. And Graham takes it behind the net. Now McClellan goes back to pick it up. Throws it to center ice. Bronstrand to Hartsburg. Hartsburg is checked but hangs on to the puck. Still has it. Cuts to the middle. A booming shot by Cicerelli was broken up by Hunter. Now Mattress is checked hard by Marook. And Bothwell has it behind the net. The North Stars are ahead 2 to nothing. We've played nine minutes. Bernie Federko leaves it at the line, and as he does, it's called offside. All right, great start for the North Stars. A lot of jump in the skates out there. They're really moving around well, right on top of the Blues, and making it extremely difficult for St. Louis to get anything started up. And we've had a lot of shots. Shots on goal right now are 12-7 for Minnesota. We haven't even played nine minutes yet. And Dino unloading right there, but it was blocked en route by Mark Hunter. You saw Dennis Marook right out in front as well as he was doing some battling with Gino Cavallini. And neither one saw that puck get so close. But a great game by the North Stars. As we've seen so many times though this year, it's only nine minutes. It's a 60-minute game. Now another thing that we've seen a lot this year is that they'll go from ice cold to red hot in a hurry too. And maybe, maybe this is the time of the year that red hot will stay for a while. Let's hope so. If it doesn't, it's going to be an awfully long summer. Marook shooting it in, and it hops right in front of the net. Clear around behind the net by Charlie Bourgeois. Out to Federko at center ice. Federko now to the defenseman Benning. Back to Federko. He's covered. Got it to Reed. A sensational save by Beaupre. And he quickly gets rid of the puck to keep play going. Now Marook throwing it ahead, and Federko has it back in his own end. Boy, not only was that a great save by Beaupre, but Federko and Reeds worked that play beautifully. Now here's Rouse in the slot trying to clear it out. And Mahar goes back for it, playing it to Natris. He's watched by Paul Houck, who's having a fine year in Springfield of the American League. Onside at center ice. It's pushed in front of the net and deflects into the corner. Now Benning is turned around. Long shot by Bothwell, blocked away by Beaupre, it's loose in front of Scramble, and a hand pass is called by Gregson. Oh, he was right there to make the call. No goal. 
And a little pushing and shoving going on in front. Mahar and uh, Pryor were talking. And Larry De Palma down there as well. All right, the penalties are even at least. Now back at the North Star line, Pryor playing it away. Here's Bothwell at center for the Blues, throwing it ahead for Reeds off his stick. Now in the corner, it's cleared around by Haupt. Lawton is there, but now we've got another penalty coming up behind the play. This, this one will be for interference. Now the Palma and Raglan each got two for uh, roughing at 10-03. And now at 10-26, Pryor goes off for interference. So we'll see what the Blues can do on a power play advantage as they will have that for the next two minutes. Blues so far this year have had a decent power play. And here's the interference play as Reeds is jammed by Pryor right at the blue line. Reeds did not have possession of the puck. That's why it was called. St. Louis's power play recently has been a hot. Eight of 27 in the last seven games. 29% efficiency. It's normally around 23. Ramage at the line. A shot hits traffic. Aderko in the corner. Acton cleared but not out. Ramage throwing it back behind it. It's a Gilmore who centers to Hunter. And boy, was he covered by Graham. Now Roberts and Acton bring it into the St. Louis end. Acton shoots, but it's deflected behind the net by Benning. And Acton will go back on a chain. Ramage from center ice. Bangs it into the corner. Bellows tries to get it out. Benning blocks it. Benning shoots. Six save. Rebound to goal. Hunter. Two to one. Brian Benning has led a lot of offense to the St. Louis team since he was called up from Team Canada earlier this year. Good job at holding the puck in at the point. And it was a good blast there by Bellows, but you saw him put his legs together and a shot about a foot off the ice. Got the first one right on as it was deflected by Hunter, and Roberts didn't stay with Mark Hunter. Allowed him just to not only get the deflection, but get his own rebound as well. Not much Donnie can do when he doesn't have coverage back there. This goal comes at 11.06, and we've got the shootout that Martin was talking about he didn't want to get into. Now from the draw, North Stars poke it into the St. Louis end. Their lead cut in half now, two to one. Natras out of the corner. With Doug Gilmore at center. Gilmore carries it in, leaves it for Cavallini. Brooke is all over him. Cavallini drops it back. And a shot by Natras goes off the glass. Bruce applying the pressure now. Here's Gilmore. A low, a goal, and they tie it at two. He just skated unmolested right through the slot. Well, that time it was Brian Bellows missing an assignment. You can't blame the goalie when you have total defensive breakdowns like that in your own end. It's going to happen. Watch as Gilmore comes out. Takes advantage of it. Hey, thank you. Both Bellows and Hartsburg were in that territory. Bellows had his man. I will take that back. But Hartsburg, you saw him slip a little bit. And that's what happens when you don't make your assignments connect. So Doug Gilmore, who also has been a North Star killer over the years, has tied up this hockey game, scoring his 34th goal of the year. The North Stars get two goals in just a minute, two seconds. And then the Blues counter with two goals in the span of 28 seconds. 2-2 two, two the score. And an icing call here against Minnesota. Okay, what do you do for an encore? Yeah, right back to where the game started. Tied. <laughs> well, you turn up the Jets and go after him again. That's what made you successful in the opening 10 minutes of play. Well, what Lord wants to do, and he's told us many a times over the course of the season, is see this team play a tighter defensive game in their own end. Hockey's pretty simple. You pick up a man, you don't let him go places, and you, you keep the puck out of the net most of the time. Except one thing, this team plays offense a lot better than it plays defense. Well, that's still no excuse. You've got to start concentrating your own zone because by the time we hit playoffs, it's going to be a lot worse than what we're seeing now as far as getting nailed when you make mistakes like that. 
Benning goes back for it. Graham going in after him. Benning clearing it ahead. It's tipped by Reeds. It goes all the way down. Might be icing if Roberts gets there first. And he does. Hunter scores from Benning. Gilmore scores from Bothwell and the Hunter. The Hunter goal at 11.06. The Gilmore goal at 11.34. Brian McClellan and Keith Acton, the North Stars goal scorers in the game so far. McClellan, certainly a great addition. We've talked about his work along the boards, but he's picking up a lot of goals lately, too. He had seven goals in 12 games coming into this one tonight. Makes it eight and 13. That's a torrid scoring pace. Now puck control by Ramage. His pass is picked off by Hauk to drop to Pavlich. Hard drive goes wide. Pavlich is tied up and the Blues are able to ice it. We'll bring it back for a faceoff, however. We've seen a very good game out of Paul Hauk in this first period. Yes, we are. He didn't get much of a chance the last time he was called up. Played sporadically, but uh, he's making the best of it in this one tonight. Bobby Rose, third year man. Learned his hockey in Lethbridge. Mark Pavlich going off. He's still looking for his first goal this year. He does have three assists in the five games that he has played coming into tonight. Dennis Morek comes on the ice with Watton and Cicerelli. They have been a power unit for the North Stars lately. Bothwell goes after the puck from the faceoff. Seven minutes left to go in the first period, tied at two. And Dennis Marook will go back for it. Marook also picking up points at a pretty good clip of late. As we approach the playoff, here's Pryor trying, or rather Boudelier trying to get it out. He does. Now Marook gets it in. Marook throwing it in off the glass. Lawton bumped in the corner. And the Blues come away with the puck just that easily. Jim Pavise doing the work. Pavise looking for Mahar. Beaupre clears it away. Bothwell waiting. Mahar tried to tip it in front. And it comes loose to Wickenheiser behind the net. Wickenheiser centers it. There's a backhand shot that goes wide. And there'll be a Minnesota penalty coming up. Pavise was dumped in the slot by Cicerelli. And Dino will get the gate for a hooking. 13.36, the time of this one. A rather obvious infraction right there. Dino had the stick in there. And uh, Herb Ragland can still use a little bit of acting lessons from Dino on how to do it properly. You got to well, fall on your rear. It makes it look better. Well, he got the two minutes, though, didn't he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> High stick penalty on Cicerelli, 13-36. I wonder if he could do any more posters with that shiner now. Maybe uh, some raccoon commercials. Anybody need a logo with a raccoon in it? You got <laughs> one sitting right in the penalty box. You talked about the good defensive play the Blues made when the North Stars came down that last time. There was no place for Dennis Marek to pass the puck because everybody was covered. So he just backhanded it deep into the zone. The Blues immediately picked it up and turned it around to come out of the zone. Now Bobby Rose is exchanging a few words down there with Mark Hunter. And, and they're going to go. They're going. Ramage goes to protest. It's not a bad ploy by the North Stars in this case because they take out the St. Louis Blues leading goal scorer. Hunter, he scored a power play goal. The last shift he was out on the ice. Hunter has 12 power play goals in the year right now, which is second on the team. The top guy is at center ice right now, Doug Gilmore. The that assist on the Blues number 20, Mark Hunter, and the North Stars number three, Bob Rouse. Minor penalties each for high sticking. Time of the penalties, 13-36. So the penalties are the same time of the, as the Cicerelli penalty. Still results in a five on four power play for the Blues. Benning has it. They have one power play goal in their earlier chance. Kozlowski in the slot, and Beaupre stops Gilmore on the rebound. Federko 
Watched by Acton. Bernerko spinning away, gets it behind it to Gilmore, back at the line. Ramage across the bending, back to Ramage again. Now to Federko. Here's Benning. Shot deflected by Graham. Gilmore plays it to Ramage. Big save by Beaupre. Benning at the line keeps it in. Graham is a broken stick. Ramage fires. That goes wide. Ramage with his glove hand will try to get it out of the zone. Can't do it. Well, two North Stars are without sticks right now. That makes it doubly bad. Kozlowski shoots high. Another shot and a goal. Federko. Popping it in, and North Stars at a real disadvantage because two players, Pryor and Graham, had broken sticks. In fact, on his last rush, as Graham had tried to sweep it out of the zone, Acton gave his stick to Pryor. You want to give it to the defensemen, especially because they're the ones in the closest quarters trying to jam it out. It centered out in front. Roberts had gone behind the net. Really no need to, and then he left Federico uncovered. They just started running around back there, and Gordy has really struggled here in this period. Another power play goal for the St. Louis Blues as Bernie Federko makes an easy score off of that shot originally taken by Greg Paslowski. They have now scored nine power play goals in seven games against the North Stars. They're nine for 25 against Minnesota. Hauk shot deflected into the corner. Bellows bats at it. De Palma is there as well, waiting for it. It's batted around by Ronning. Now Bellows has it again. He is covered well by Bothwell. It bounced past De Palma. And Raglan is there. He lost it all the way down the ice. Beaupre plays it at the side for Yari Gronstrand. Gronstrand, who has seen very limited duty here in the second half of the season. And the Blues clear it all the way down again. Hartsburg will go back for it. And an icing call against St. Louis. Federko from Pazlowski and Gilmore on the power play have given the Blues the three to two lead after the North Stars had bolted to a two nothing lead after the first seven and a half minutes. But the Blues have been chipping back over the next seven and a half and have scored three. Maybe we're seeing this team able to compete in shootouts. Mark Pavlis looking for his first goal as an North Star, but has three assists in five games. And seemingly is playing stronger and stronger with each game, as you might expect as he works his way back into shape. McClellan in the corner. Brook goes in after it. It's knocked loose to Doug Wickenheiser, number 14. Wickenheiser having a bit of an off year point wise for the Blues. Gets it to center ice anyway. Mark Reeds gets it in, then chases in after it. Roberts is there to meet him. And a centering pass was taken away by Boudelier. He gets it ahead to McClellan. Brian McClellan shooting it in. And Greg Millen leaves it for Charlie Bourgeois. Here's Mahar. Onto the stick of Wickenheiser at center. It's tipped away by Pavlich. Now back to Bourgeois again over to Benning. Under four minutes to go in the period, and the Blues are leading three to two after the North, after the North Stars had a two to nothing lead. Knocked off of Pavlich's stick. Here's Brook going after it, but it bounced away. And it's shot in the zone by Flockhart, who was then given a bump by Brook at center ice. Paul Boudelier to McClellan. He ran into traffic, and Hunter is hurt. I think he went crashing head first into the boards. Well, just stay down, Mark, and get your senses. Don't rush up and maybe hurt yourself even more. Let the trainer get out there and take a look at you. That was kind of a crazy play. It looked like he just lost his footing and went crashing head first into the boards. Let's see it on the replay and exactly how he did it. Trying to move in on Brian McClellan here, but actually misses. Stumbles, actually going right over Bernie Federico's stick and goes head first into the wall. And he wow. was going at a pretty good rate of speed, too. Well, he collided with uh, the leg of McClellan. Brian McClellan had stepped out of the way, avoiding the check with his upper body, but the leg caught him. Boy, he snapped that head pretty good, too. It really compressed that neck, it looked like. Hunter last year surprised everybody with his 44 goals, surprised everybody except Ron Caron, the Blues general manager. 
And now this year he is back again with his goal tonight. Has 35 this season. Well this is a second year with St. Louis and they picked him up from the Montreal Canadiens and the Canadians have used Hunter pretty much in a, a checking role because of his size and his ability to hit. But Caron saw something in him I guess Montreal didn't the ability to put the puck in the net. Maybe that's something Montreal wishes they had right now because even though Max Maslin had the great year last year he hasn't been producing goals on a regular basis this year whereas Hunter has he's got 35 already and uh, may not hit the 40 goal mark again but certainly a tremendous improvement from his years in Montreal. Besides that in Montreal he did not skate a regular shift anyways being in a checking unit and sometimes watching from the press box. But the Blues have put him right in there giving him a lot of ice and he's going to be averaging 40 goals in the two years he's been there. You know even if Maslin was going well they would still like to have Hunter because Montreal is not deep in goal scorers. No they're not. 3.05 left in the period as Bothwell's pass is picked off by Cicerelli. He shoots a pass and a rebound to Marook in the slot. And he's checked off the play. Flockhart plays it ahead at center ice to Mark Reeds. Back to Flockhart. That fails to click and Cicerelli's pass is tipped away by Bothwell. Hartsburg back in the zone for it. Off the stick of Lawton at center ice. Federko goes after it. Cicerelli is there. Tipped by Hartsburg again, and it comes loose to Brian Lawton. Lawton crisscrosses with Marook. Reeds plays it back out, and Federko throws it all the way down. Blues making a change on the go. Here's Roberts across to Lawton at center, and he drives it in on Millen, who deflects it over to the board. North Stars making a change on the fly now. Federko missed it at center ice, and it's picked up by Keith Acton. Acton, De Palma, and Hauk right now for Minnesota. Lead pass to Paul Hauk. Off De Palma, but grabbed by Acton. He's got one tonight, and his second shot goes wide. Cavallini was hit hard by De Palma just after he unloaded the puck. Now the Blues at center with Ramage circling. 145 left in the period. Ramage flipping it in deeper, and then a Cross ring pass comes to Cavallini, and it's tipped wide by Gilmore again. Left alone in front of the net. Acton reaching for it, races for it, but it's tipped away. And finally, Bourgeois drops it back into the zone for Ramage. And the Blues clear it down. Yari Gronstrand will go after it. Gronstrand has only played in 10 of the last 27 games. Been out for a while with injury, also has been benched for a bit. Here's Graham. Throwing it in, Millen turns it away. And it's cleared out by Mahar. Hartsburg goes after it. And there's a minute two left to go in the period. Now at center ice, right, McClellan gathers it in, shovels it ahead to Pavlich, streaking in over the line. Pavlich shoots Millen a stick save. Nice rush by Pavlich. He was forced to a real bad angle, but still got an accurate shot off. Here's Benning dropping it back in the slot and Mahar's shot goes high and a St. Louis player running checked into the goal and there'll be an interference penalty on Minnesota. Ronnie looked for a moment like he was going to be pretty badly hurt. Now Raglan is in there shoving away. Raglan number 25. Bur Big Charlie Bourgeois is in there too. Bourgeois number four wrapping up with Brian McClellan right now. Well, the Blues had already seen Hunter shaken up on an earlier collision, and whether it's intentional or not, when another of your teammates looks like he's going to be hurt, it tends to get you your dander up in a hurry. Now, Gregson is pointing at Bourgeois and telling him to back off because things have already settled down here. 39 seconds left to go in the period as this penalty will be coming up, and we'll look for an interference. There's the shot by Mahar that'll come down off the glass and there's the interference right in front of the net as Pavlich really smacked Ronning and now Graham starting to throw punches at Raglan and judging from the crowd reaction must have got the better of it. Now they're up. Oh Raglan's cut pretty good. Dirk Graham with another takedown.
seem tonight that the North Stars are just finally sick and tired of losing. And Brian McClellan eyeballing Bourgeois. Boy, if those two heavyweights go at it. The only thing between them and a fight is Terry Gregson right now. Raglan down without a helmet. And he's been opened up for a pretty good cut, as you can see. Graham finally being restrained. And the linesmen get beat. Now, a St. Louis power play that is two for two. But Erko got the last power play goal. The earlier one scored by Hunter. Five skaters on three in the closing half minute of the first period. Gilmore. Dropping it back to the line. Ramage across to Benning. Centering it. A diving play by Roberts to knock it loose. And Federko back to Ramage. Not a Benning again. 17 seconds left. Ramage a drive. Knocked down in front. The rebound to Pizlowski. But he's covered by Rouse. And Acton has it. He'll try to kill off as much time as he can. Throws it all the way down. Five seconds left as Millen plays it ahead. And a long shot by Ramage at the horn is turned away by Beaupre. So we'll move on to the second period after our intermission here. And the North Stars will still be two men short for a minute and 21 seconds. But the Blues, after trailing two to nothing, now lead three to two. Let's go to Wally Shaver in the hall. We're going to give Wally Shaver a chance to catch his breath as he makes his way up from our studio after the interview with Jerry Zagoda and Gary Olson. Keith Acton, along with Bob Rouse and Gord Roberts, make up the three Minnesota North Stars to kill off the penalty. And from the draw, Benning goes backboard behind the St. Louis net. Now he'll start up ice. Pozlowski is up front. Ramage has the puck now. Here's Pozlowski going in after it. Roberts gets in the way. Roberts gets to the puck. He is checked. Pozlowski goes down. Roberts tried to clear, but then he was well covered by Gilmore. Roberts to Acton, and Acton plays it off the boards to get it all the way down. Millen wants to turn the play right around, so he plays it to Benning. 50 seconds left on the two minor penalties to Minnesota. Benning knocked down at the line. Roberts goes after the puck. Pozlowski goes in after him. It's centered off his skate. Federko picks it up. Back to Ramage. Now across to Benning. Ramage again. Fakes. Is checked by Acton and forced back to the line. Ramage trying to set up a screen. Now Federko has it. He centers it. Beaupre, a big save on Pozlowski. About the only shot the Blues have had on this power play. And Roberts drills it all the way down. Penalty killers stand a good chance of doing the job here. Just 13 seconds left. Here's Benning back to Federko in the slot for Ramage, and it hops off his stick. Ramage throwing it back around to Benning. Five on the power play. Ramage again at the side of the net. Federko centers it. Shot blocked by Brook. The penalties are over as Pavlich and Cicerelli are on. Pavlich breaks up a shot, goes after the puck. Gilmore has it. Gilmore throwing it across. Now Federko bumped by Rouse. Benning across to Ramage. Long shot deflection to the corner off of Pozlowski. These Blues have been out for a long time. It's centered again. Beaupre robs Federko. Beaupre with a big breath there, and then he exhales to say, whoo. <laughs> You're not kidding. He's got to catch his win there, because even though there wasn't a lot of shots that came on him, Frank, only one or two, he was moving around continually from side to side. The pressure was in his zone. And he had traffic in front of him. They did have possession the whole time. Here's Bernie working off the corner boards and centering a pass earlier. Point bank shot and an excellent save by Donnie. Not a lot you can do when you've only got three skaters left out there. If you've got your wind, go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it was interesting hearing from the two scribes. And to follow that up a little bit, the Blues made all the noise coming out of the dressing room. And it was quite quiet as the North Stars left their dressing room. Now a whistle, I think, blown by one of the linesmen. And there, indeed, is the reason as the goal has come loose again. I don't know. I, we've been watching these magnetic nets for quite a long time. And it still brings a sense of release 
every time you see him break loose realizing that it may say, save an injury there. This time it was knocked off from behind as Roberts was checked into it. Paul Boodle there being chased by Mark Reeves is tied up. North Stars get the puck and come out with Brian Lawton leading the attack to center. Dropping it back for Pryor. He whiffs on it trying to clear it in and Rick Natras backhands off the wall to center. Boodle there. Who lends some offense to the North Stars back on the point. Shoots it in. Natras moves it ahead for Reeves. He can't clear it as the North Stars keep it in. They try the left door now this time by Bothwell. No luck. North Stars keeping it alive. Bothwell breaks it up in front. Clears the center. Boudelier being watched by Ronnie. who was jammed into the net earlier in the first period. Marwick fires it deep. Bothwell bumped by Cicerelli. Ronning is there and he back clears back the back. center. Gronstrand right back up to Marook. North Stars maintaining control right now. Dino takes the pass from Marook, but it's offside. The Blues putting a good wall up at the blue line. And we're going to see a lot of defense out of the St. Louis team as we proceed with this game. Dino has now slipped to sixth in scoring in the National Hockey League. Still in second in power play goals. But he's also slipped to fifth place in goal production overall. That line is coming off with Marook and Lawton. There's a lot of movement in that line, as you might expect with those three darting kind of skaters. And they have been a very effective combination. This line is starting to gel as well with Pavlich at center and Bellows and McClellan on the wings. Charlie Bourgeois, who says if he couldn't be a hockey player, he'd be a cop. Shoots it to the Minnesota line. He plays like it sometimes anyways. Heitzberg drills it in. Bourgeois chased by Bellows. Both let it go as Millen sweeps it to the corner. Blues working along the boards trying to get out. And it does off the stick of Pazlowski. Coming up the left side is Mahar whose shot is stopped. Back to center it bounces and it bounces again off of Bourgeois and it makes it offside. Charlie Bourgeois, boy, what a big one he is, uh, especially when you look at uh, just the, the breadth of the shoulder when you compare to Yari Gronstrand, too. Yari back in the lineup after suffering not only an eye injury and a groin injury, but he was also benched for about a half dozen games or so. As we said earlier, he's only played 10 of the last 27. So he has been given a fair amount of time off here in the second half of the season, and that may not be all that bad for him because uh, coming off that European schedule and into this tougher 80-game schedule, it, might uh, serve him well, give him a little more life in the playoffs. Yeah, and it is. When you hit this playoffs, it's just going to step it up a notch. The way the playoffs are going to go this year, that first round is now a best of seven. So they're going to open with two games in two nights, take a day off, then play two more games in two nights, and then from there on, it's going to be a game just about every other night. Unless you're fortunate enough to eliminate somebody in less than seven games. Play is back behind the Minnesota goal where Beaupre stops the puck for Roberts. Gordy's long pass up the right side is too far. He goes all the way back deep into the St. Louis end where Jim Pavese grabs it. Third around but not out. North Stars trying to do the work down the corner. Rowles is flattened on the play. Behind the net, the palm is centers it. Hulk just misses. Reaches once more, but it's cleared away to Mark Reeds and the Blues break out. Reads across the line onto his left, but it's just out of the reach of number 12, Ron Flockhart. Ramage dumping it in. North Stars defensively break it up. Acton swoops into the zone, comes away with the biscuit and charges up the middle. Ducking off checks, collides with Ramage, and the rammer is going off for tripping as he stuck his stick out to slow down Keith Acton. Well, Woody has been a guy that you've had to do just about anything to to slow down tonight. Woody's struggling a little bit of late. His plus minus has just taken a terrible tumble, but he's got a lot of spring tonight, as do a lot of the North Stars. They're bringing it in <laughs> over the line. Was tripped up. First he swears, and then he looks back and smiles because he says, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> We're going to the power play. <laughs> what a competitor. <laughs> Only the second power play of the evening for the North Stars. First one came very early in the hockey game. A lot of shots have been taken. 19 by the Blues and 17 by the Stars. And that's the fruits of those efforts. Jump, 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 jump. 
All Baudelaire back in his own zone is crunched into the boards. Hartsburg plays it ahead for Marook. Now to Cicerelli on his off wing as he does for the power play. Chopped in by Lawton. Mahar cranks it out. It bounces off of Hartsburg's stick to center. He has to bring it back deeper because Dino is coming out. Now Baudelaire slaps it in. It bounces in front. Millen steers it aside. And it's chopped down the ice once more by St. Louis as the Blues have killed off the first half minute, not allowing Minnesota any time to set up. They hang back, three guys way back, only one pressing. Boudelier brings it across the line, meets the wall, has to shoot it in deeper. Millen himself this time clears it around, and it's a two-on-one. Reed's coming out with Gilmore. Gilmore going right in. Beaupre saves, it bounces off the post, and Minnesota picks it up. Lawton coming up the middle now. Gets around Bourgeois, brings it across the line, feeds it out in front for Hartsburg. He circles to the corner, then lost the puck, and it's shot down the ice by Doug Gilmore, who just missed on a great chance earlier. Minnesota right back on the attack. McClellan across the line, drops it to the point. Grand Strand's wrist shot is wide. McClellan takes the bouncer and backhands it wide. Grand Strand to Bellows behind the net. Bellows into the corner for Mark Pavlich. Robert shoots, blocked in front of the scramble, but Millen has it trapped underneath as he sits on the edge of the crease and watches the action in front as Bourgeois and McClellan do some slugging at one another. They were eyeball to eyeball in the first period. And, you know, Charlie Bourgeois looks like he's trying to goad McClellan into a fight. Take a look at the North Star's offensive opportunity as the point, shot comes from the point by Roberts. And as it was deflected, you see it trickles in. Nearly got between the pads of Millen, but he pinched it perfectly right there. You can see the puck dead on. And here's Gilmore with a chance. Now the North Stars have had two power plays tonight, and twice tonight, the Blues have nearly scored shorthanded goals. That one, but for the goal post, would have been in. Doug Gilmore is just turning into an outstanding hockey player. Complete. He'll score the goals. He'll check for you. He can play defensively. Boy, what an asset he is for the Blues, and he leads them in scoring. Ryan McClellan in the box. And he'll be joined by the Charlie Blues, Bourgeois. McClellan of the North Star. Called it 605. And I believe they call it roughing. Yep. So it's still five on four. Here's a shot by Grindstrand block. North Stars have a dozen seconds left in their power play. And they retreat to their blue line to get the puck. Grindstrand lost the puck. Mahar shoots, and it's just wide. Hartsburg gets it off to the side as the Blues resume equal strength. Lawton trying to center it, hit Tim Bothwell and goes to the corner. Bothwell in his second tour of duty with the Blues. St. Louis clearing the zone, and Hartsburg is back to get it from Beaupre. Go, 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 Hartsey. The center for Pavlich. Cross the line, all on the left for Bellows. Trying to cut in. He does and centers, but it's knocked away from in front. Rouse relays it behind for Bellows. It bounces off his stick and goes back to the corner. Bellows is there first. Tries to center down. Pavlich shoots, and it's just wide. Pavis is checked, but the puck is tipped, and the North Stars will regroup in their own end. Pavlich was checked, and it's Pavis who comes out of there hurting. He hobbles to the bench. Roberts behind his own blue line. Two rows. Acton. Lost it in the skates of St. Louis's Flockhart. They have to go back once more for it. St. Louis doing a good job of forechecking. Mahar putting some pressure on now. It comes back for Rose, who drills it in. Bounces to Millen. Circling the net is Rick Natras, who missed seven games earlier this year with a strained knee, but he does poke it out the center ice. Blues trying to break it up. Rose lost the handle. De Palma circling. Coming out of his own end. Larry to Woody. Oh. He's checked up along the boards. The Palma giving a good jolt on Herb Ragland, who took five stitches. I could count him in his forehead as he came out of the training room. And there's a delayed penalty against the North Stars coming. 
It'll be Larry De Palma, probably for roughing. Well, he cracked Raglan not once, but twice. First, jolted him right into the boards, and then as Raglan came up for air, De Palma roughed him up again. Here's a look at it right from in front of the bench in front of our camera. Acton carrying the puck is given a pretty good check himself by Raglan, and there's the hit by De Palma. Raglan goes reeling, and then it's not quite over yet. Boom, there's the smash with the right hand. He took five stitches over the left eye. He almost got five over the right <laughs> off the boards. <laughs> so we'll come back in the Minnesota end for the next faceoff. And the penalty killers again getting a workout tonight. We're, uh, by the time this is over, we'll be reaching the halfway point of the hockey game. And the North Stars will have played 10 minutes shorthanded out of the first 30. De Palma runs his penalty minute total up to well over 200 now. Doug Gilmore has Bernie Federko on the right wing. Federko normally a center, but they put Gilmore and Federko at the same time on the power play to give him more offense. Gilmore first in scoring, Federko is third. The other winger out there is Greg Kozlowski. Ramage gets it on the point. He's one of the best in the league, manning the point position on a power play. Gilmore to Federko. Back corner to Gilmore, but his pass was stolen, and Dirk Graham brings it to center, fakes a shot, slowing things down, collides with Ramage, who falls. And the Blues will try and start up from their own end. Benning. A long pass across the line of Federko. He's slowed down. Bo play clears the corner. Kozlowski keeping the play alive, working around Brook. Hartsburg tries the other side. Benning pinching in. Check now by Pryor, but Brian Benning comes up with it, puts it in front. Kozlowski falls, but gets it to the point. Now it's driven away by Hartsburg. Millen. Slow down, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a breakaway. Two man, a pass in front. Reed scores. What a play by Millen. He really hurried it, and I thought he's a little over anxious. But the play by Greg Millen was the key, as he fired it up to center ice to Bernie Federko, and it was a two on all with Mark Reeds. Blues increase their lead to two goals now, as Reeds then fires it ahead to Federko. And Reeds will uh, tip it in past Beaupre. But both goaltenders tonight have been wanting to play that puck ahead quickly. Both Beaupre and Millen to generate offense quickly in the other direction. This time it pays off in Mark Reed's ninth goal of the year at 9.15. Millen won't get an assist because he fed his defenseman at the line. But he was definitely the key to that play. Reeves out to center. It's a three on one. Cavallini centers and it's just out of the reach of Cliff Ronning. North Stars are back at full strength because of the Blues power play goal and almost looked like they were short handed there. Hunter trying to deflect that, make that Cavallini, but he's checked, goes up along the boards, knocking over Cicerelli. Rotten battling and finally the whistle has been blown on an offside against Minnesota. The uh, St. Louis goal on the power play reads like this. Reads his ninth from Federko. And I guess they're going to give it to Gilmore as the second assist. Still difficult sometimes to read his face. Scratches his brow there, but... It looks not like there a might lot he be. can do. I tell you, he, no. he's a good coach, and he just has some guys out here who really just don't give a damn. And that's the problem. Buck fired in from center ice. Braun Strand behind his net. Headmans it to uh, Pavlich, who gets it out to center, but back checking nicely on the play is Wickenheiser to slow down Graham. Graham after in the corner falls. The Blues get the puck. It's fired around to the right side for Herb Raglan. Long left wing pass to Mahar, but it's poke checked away from him. Wickenheiser collides at center with Graham. 
carrying on momentarily was Pavlich till he was rubbed out. And Bourgeois leads the Blues to center. Raglan's pass is stolen, but Raglan steals the skates from underneath the Paul Boudelier. And Herbie will skate slowly with his head down in utter shame to the penalty box. Pretty obvious on this one. And with referee Gregson standing right to the left of where our camera is, it's hard for him to ignore this. Hookaroo, and down he goes. And the North Stars will go to a power play. It'll be their third of the game, which is a mixed blessing, of course, the way that's been going. I think what they should do right now is just give St. Louis five free shots and then <laughs> go down to the other end and then continue with the power play it's, and call it even. This is a battle for second place tonight. Believe it or not. I think you mentioned it earlier today. You know, the North Stars have won one in ten and with a win tonight they vault into second place. That's right. <laughs> Amazing, eh? Don't tell me this division doesn't have an effect on the way this team or any other team in this division plays. That's a good point. A battle at center ice. Blues get the puck. Gilmore drives it down. Hartsburg back in behind his own goal. Passes to Graham. Catching up to him is Gilmore. Already has three points. Bellows trying to get it off the boards, but we have an icing call against Minnesota. Right idea, but Bellows was slowed down just a tad trying to get in there as Brian Bellows now wearing the face shield for the third straight game. There's a little fog away. Now, to take that another step further, I believe that this division also has an effect on the way the clubs are managed. There's no great driving effort to pull in a, a vast amount of talent all of a sudden. You're going to finish reasonably well in your division. You may not go all the way to the cup. Well, it's a clutch and grab affair. We saw it on that last shift. Bellows couldn't get to the puck because there was a stick hooking him from behind. And that's the way this team here plays. That's what Bernie Federico was telling us. I got the feeling they learned it from Demers and they're not going to forget it. And Demers is out teaching it to another group of 20 players. Well, that's not to say Lauren Henning isn't attempting to. Craig right. Hartsburg. He's got the offensive players that he can try to intermix with the rest of it. I don't think St. Louis or Detroit does. No, they don't. You know, Cicerelli waiting for a pass. Takes it out of a couple of pairs of skates. Controls the boards. Dino has improved his game along the boards considerably over the last year and a half. And the Blues, though, pick off the clearing effort behind the net and knock it down ice. North Stars will have to start all over with less than a minute to go in the power play. Hartsburg reaches the line, but he has slowed down enough by Ramage to force Maruk outside on his right. Craig Hartsburg will be our guest coming up at our second intermission, a captain of the North Stars. I think bears a lot of weight on his shoulders uh, in times like this especially. It is not an easy role. Oftentimes we'll try to get players to use assistant coaches as a buffer but the captain is always there as well. And if he sees the team getting on the line he's got to try to get on their case a bit. Not an easy job. I sometimes wonder if that position shouldn't be rotated throughout the course of a year or perhaps changed every year or two. Our stars on the power play still. Pavlik to the corner, gets a return pass, moves it to the point. Graham lets it go, and it hit Millen. And where is it? Off to the corner now, and finally swung down ice by Greg Paslowski. Hartsburg, a very intense competitor. He hates to lose, and it makes times like this tough on him. Crosses the line, works right to the net, and a one-hand shot blocked. The rebound by Graham. Greg Hartsburg at his best, no doubt. An end-to-end -end rush by Craig Hartsburg. Magnificent control of the puck. Great moves all the way up the ice. Blows right through the defense here. With one hand gets the shot off and the rebound laying there for Dirk Graham. A tremendous play by Hartsburg and for Dirk Graham, his 25th goal of the year. And that is a power play goal. 
That's a play that we don't see an awful lot anymore in the game of hockey by forwards or defensemen. It's that end-to-end -end rush, and it's just a beautiful thing to watch. It's a beautiful thing to watch. The only drawback you'll see to a guy like Hartsburg in a case like that is sometimes he likes to do it all himself, but that gets to your point about being the captain and providing the leadership, and it was a tremendous end-to-end -end effort. Bourgeois has it back at center. His pass is blocked. North Stars coming to life now as De Palma throws a check. Bourgeois then dumps back, and there's a penalty coming up against St. Louis. Hout behind the net is Jack Rose centers it, and it's finally grabbed by Bourgeois, but he'll go off now for holding. Charlie Bourgeois, one of the high penalty minute men for the Blues. Got his total well up over 150 now. On the Graham goal, his 25th, Hartsburg gets the lone assist at 12.29. And Hartsburg now increases his team leading assist total to 46. Here's a look at the penalty. Bourgeois, number four, will get it right there. He has dumped one of the North Star players, Acton. And the North Stars on a power play here have a chance to tie this game at four. Specialty teams become so important at this time of year, you want to get them in a high gear. And that's what they're working towards. The North Stars this year coming in it tonight had only four goals in the six previous games against St. Louis. There was a 20% conversion. But they have now hit on one of three. And we'll see what they do this time. Benning behind his goal is probably getting it over to Ramage. Rammer tries to clear him a high up along the boards. They can't get it out. Cicerelli back to the line, pulls it off into the corner. Bellows, Sudino back to Bellows on the point. Hartsburg tees it up. In for Bellows. To Hartsburg, his shot is blocked by Mahar. Bellows to Cicerelli. Marek trying to get three in front. Bellows. Circling, Trudino Cicerelli. Graham broke in from the point. Cicerelli moves back up the board to Hartsburg. His shot is wide. Graham keeping the play alive, but it's broken up by the Blues and sent down ice. Gives St. Louis a chance to change penalty killers. Hartsburg coming coast to coast once more, crossing the line. Slows up as he relays it behind the net, but Millen, the playmaker, comes out and... Shovels it off to his defense. Natras clears it down ice. Under a minute to go on the man advantage. Mark Pavlich, the native of Evelyn, to Cicerelli from Sarnia, Ontario, who rifles it in. It hops over Millen's stick, taken by the Stars in the corner. Pavlich, nice moves, getting it back to the point. There's a shot, just wide. Graham. Cicerelli back to Graham, his shot blocked. Dino racing after it with Gilmore, and it's popped past Boudelier. Beaupre has to come out with Gilmore coming in on him. Oh. Gilmore gets the puck, though. Graham and Gilmore slow one another down. Blue steal it. Gilmore breaking in alone. He shoots, and Beaupre makes a great pad save. Fired out to center now by Graham, where Rob Ramage has it. Blues have killed it off. Cavallini just misses a pass. Pavlich who stole it, plays it ahead, but Bellows is checked. Cavallini off on the right wing boards now for Pazlowski who plays it behind the Minnesota goal. Cavallini slowed down by Pavlich, can't get to it. Houck in there battling with Federko. It squirts out and the Minnesota defense takes control. Bobby Rose, shooting it in, Millen backs it to the corner, Cavallini check, in front, Ramage, up the right wing boards to Herb Raglan, Roberts starts Acton away as Minnesota comes storming back to cross, Acton looking, fires it in front, oh and it's tipped by De Palma just wide. Cleared by the Blues, and Roberts takes over at St. Ray's. He's checked by Raglan. Interesting to see the Palma and Raglan on at the same time. John Strand, Crass goes to Brooke, just behind 
De Palma and offside is called as Larry beat the puck across the line. Now has a few words for Herb Raglan as the linesmen come in quickly. <laughs> Larry's not one to give up easily. <laughs> well, a good volley of uh, play there. The North Stars showing some emotion in their game finally. They're talking to one another on the ice. The Blues, however, continue to have shorthanded opportunities. This one by Gilmore in close, and it rolled off his stick. Never did get the shot off. Don Beaupre has seen enough of Doug Gilmore alone in front of the net tonight. Three points for Gilmore in this game. Wide of the Minnesota goal. Two players go after the puck. Hartsburg comes away with it, rings it around, but it's out of the reach of Brook. Almost swiped it from Bothwell. Ronning keeps it alive. Bellows digging, out muscles Ronning, gets it up to Brook, knocks over his man. Lawton comes in, feeds it over to Grindstrand. Yari Grindstrand is decked by Bothwell, crossing into the zone. Blues try the other side of the rink, have no further luck. On the blue line. Bellows gets it to Lawton. His pass is blocked. St. Louis clears it off the glass. And the North Stars will back up again into their own end with St. Louis making a wholesale change on the fly. Gilmore stops the puck at center. Hartsburg bucks off of Cavallini's check. Banks it off the boards. It's pushed ahead by Brook. Blues almost lost it at their line and then just send it down. Beaupre nullifies icing by having to make a save. Here's Maruk crossing center, feeding it up to the stick of Lawton. It bounced off and the Blues roar right back. Cavallini's pass off target. Maruk trying to play it ahead but was checked and decked by Pazlowski. Millen behind his goal. Swings it around. Puck is deflected off the wall. Not out. Roberts keeps it alive into the corner. Dino chasing after it, centers it. Here's Marek shooting, blocked, a loose puck, and Milling grabs on and holds for a faceoff. Cicerelli and Craig Hartsburg are providing a lot of offensive spark for the North Stars tonight. Hartsburg is off on this particular ship, but Cicerelli right now creating a lot of problems for the Blues. Got the centering pass in front, and then Marek just pounced on it high up in the slot before he fired it off. And that's the kind of emotion we talked about earlier. A real spring, a real jump in their step night against the Blues. North Star still trailing by a goal, but are making a lot of noise here like they want to get right back in it. Shots are even at 22 apiece with 1.59 to go in the second period. Hunter, Gilmore, Federko, and Reeves have scored for the Blues. Acton, McClellan, and Graham for the North Stars. Bob Rouse at the Minnesota Blue Line. Passing ahead for Dino Cicerelli to Rouse. His pass stopped at center. St. Louis's Doug uh, Ron Flockhart shoots it in. Larry De Palma looking for the breakaway. And Marek racing after, but it bounces to Millen and cleared. Flockhart is checked. Federico falls going behind his goal. Charlie Bourgeois is there. Checked by Cicerelli. De Palma forechecking to keep it going. He lost it. Federico around the bourgeois. And Charlie clears it all the way down the ice. Icing will be called as the North Stars are back to touch it. And some good pressure put on a, by the line of Cicerelli, Marut, and De Palma. It was on the left wing instead of Brian Lawton. That change made a little earlier in the period. And it seems to have made a difference. He'll be Frank Mazzacco's guest at intermission. Captain Craig Hartsburg, first round draft choice by Minnesota back in 1979. Here's Hartsburg with a shot, blocked out in front. Rick Mahar dumps it off the boards down ice. So both teams have new lines out there for the final minute. Icing again called as the Blues are penalized for getting a little too defensive. And we'll have a face-off back in the St. Louis zone. Dirk Graham discussing the play with Doug Wickenheiser as they skate back up ice.
Dirk, fifth in points on the team. Native of Regina, Saskatchewan. In his third year with the North Stars, but he's 27 years of age. Spent his first few years playing in the minors. Came to the North Stars as a free agent. Mark Pavlich setting in for the faceoff. He came to the North Stars just a couple of weeks ago. Actually signed a couple of weeks ago, was acquired much earlier in the season, but didn't want to play hockey this year. Now he does, and he's going great. McClellan to Graham, two on one. Graham's shot is blocked, though, by the defenseman Tim Bothwell. It's cleared around, and the Blues break out, getting around Boudelaire. Here's Mahar sending it. Ragland crashes into ball prey, and they both go into the goal post. And are a little stunned as they both gather their thoughts down there. Ragland was being pursued from behind by the newest North Star, Paul Boudelier, and was a little bit of hook. Here you see Mahar coming on the right wing, centers it out in front, and as Ragland gets it, you see the hook by Boudelier and the collision with the post. Both players are up and okay, but it's going to cost a minor penalty to North Star defenseman Paul Boudelier. Ouch. This comes in 1927. A hooking call to Boudelier. So can the North Stars weather the storm? They've yielded three power play goals so far tonight and five St. Louis chances. Four three Blues lead. North Stars have taken a little bit of that momentum away from St. Louis. Minnesota scored the game's first two. St. Louis came back with four. But then Dirk Graham's power play midway through this period has changed the tide somewhat. Play is stalled on the back of the net. We'll try another face on. Bobby Rose, good positional player. Seldom caught out of position. Doug Gilmore will face off against Bob Brook. Brook, one of the many players wearing shields nowadays. And as we see more and more guys get clobbered by sticks up around the head, we'll probably see more and more wearing shields, which makes you wonder why referees are calling high sticking less and less. Here's Federko shooting it wide of the Minnesota net. Kozlowski in after it. It rings the boards for Federko. Ten seconds left in the period. Back on the point. Brian Benning lets it go. It's blocked by Brooks' leg. Gilmore going to have to hurry. It's behind the net. Set it out in front, but the buzzer sounds ending the period. Brook doing a little pushing with Kozlowski as the horn sounds. And everybody converges around the net right now. In this period, a man short for another minute 20 seconds as time running off now. Our stars down by a count of four to three. Just a goal. They were up by two at one point. Roberts trying to tip it past Ramage. He does. Now has a two on one with Graham. Roberts fakes. He centers to Graham. And the shot goes off the post. A glorious chance for Graham. I don't think he believed he had a whole net there. <laughs> Back into the St. Louis end. Brian Benning chases after it. 45 left in the power play. Benning, the leading defenseman in scoring for the Blues. Pass broken up again, this time by Roberts again. And flipped all the way down. Ramage clearing it away from Brook. Gilmore throwing it ahead. And here's Craig Hartsburg. Bounces away from Millen, and Benning is back there to help him out. Now Brian Bellows. Pass from Benning too far for Federko. Gilmore with a near interception. Now he takes it away. What a game Gilmore is having. Gets it into the Minnesota zone. It's top three. And then cleared all the way down. 
Penalty is over. North Stars at full strength. Here's running. Blocked by Beaupre and the rebound cleared away by Marook as he gets it ahead to Lawton. Flipping it in. Hartsburg uh, first made a rush to the St. Louis line and then backed off on a line change, but here come the Blues. Mark Reeds and running. Reeds' weak shot comes dribbling in on Beaupre, and he quickly plays it ahead. This time to Lawton, now to Marook. Pass broken up by Bothwell. Now taken away by Roberts. Roberts throwing it into the corner. And Cavallini driving it back out. Gary Gronstrand will go after it. Tipped at center ice by Lawton. Now Marook is covered. And grabbed again by the Blues. Beaupre reaching for it. It comes loose behind the net. Hartsburg to Mahar. He backhands it in front. Off of Gronstrand to the corner. Raglan playing it around. It's centered. Mahar has it once more. He gets an open lane. 6-8 by Beaupre in heavy traffic. And here comes Hartsburg rushing again. Three on three to the line. Hartsburg to McClellan looking for the centering pass. And it's broken up and cleared by Raglan to Wickenheiser. Doug Wickenheiser getting it into the zone. Now Pavlich back behind the net. And Mark Pavlich leads the rush. Few whistles here in the third period. We played three minutes. Blues still ahead four to three. Now Federko popping it to center ice. He was whacked by McClellan. And the Blues are offside as they bring it to the zone. We'd like to remind our viewing audience that Visitation for John Mariucci will be Wednesday, March 24th from 4 p.m. until 9 p.m. with a prayer service at 8 p.m. at Gill Brothers Funeral Chapel. That's at 5801 Lindale Avenue South in Minneapolis. Mass of Christian Burial will be Thursday, March 25th at 10.30 a.m. at St. Edward's Catholic Church, 9401 Nesbitt Avenue South in Bloomington. And burial following the Mass will be at Fort Snelling, National Cemetery. John was a member of the uh, U.S. Coast Guard during World War II. Sixteen and a half minutes left in the third period as Larry De Palma goes after it. He is hit by Federko. Now Boudelier playing it ahead to Keith Acton. North starts again, rushing the puck well in over the line. They're met by the Blues, however. Pavis goes after it. Avoids a collision. And now Bernie Federko at center ice. Federko with one goal and one assist, flipping it ahead. The North Stars intercept. Appears that the Blues here are quite content to sit back and protect the one goal lead at this point. Here's Pavis playing it across again to Ramage. And he throws it in. Now Robert. Here's Paul Hauk. Puck gets by De Palma and it's grabbed by Boudelier. Roberts off a stick. It's tipped away to Bothwell. And now the Blues regroup at center, but we're nearly offside. Here comes Bellows dropping it back. Now Lawton centers it, but no one was home. A nifty pass by Lawton, except for that no one was there. And Gilmore tries to get it in. Cavallini barging in after it. And finally, Gordy Roberts with control of the puck. Out to Lawton once more. Boy, every game it seems like Lawton finds another area to improve, and he gets just a little bit better here in the last 10, 15, or 20 games. He's really having a fine second half. Bellows tied up by Bothwell. And now we've five minutes of the third period. North Stars trailing by a goal. Might be icing here against the Blues, and it will be as Rouse goes back. I'd like to add one final note about John Mariucci. Uh, memorials to John may be made to Camp Confidence Mariucci Lodge up in Brainerd. John was a huge, huge supporter of Camp Confidence and annually held a big cookout up there where he sat down with about 4,000 pots and pans and cooked up what one whale of an Italian dinner. A lot of the players would go up there and it all for camp confidence and the handicapped people up in Brainerd. 
There's the score in the third period, four to three, with about 15 minutes to go. And from the draw, Charlie Bourgeois has it behind the St. Louis net. Bourgeois at 6'4", 215 pounds, one of the biggest in the league. Hartsburg. His pass got away from Cicerelli. Dino gets it back. Nice pass to Marouk. Cicerelli centers it, or rather Marouk centered it to Cicerelli, but he was covered. Now De Palma got a stick on it, but the Blues are able to get it out of the zone, and Grandstrand goes back for it. Back at center ice, Benning had it wrapped away by Marouk. Benning's pass hits Mahar's skate. Cicerelli tried to turn it around, and they scramble forward at center. Dennis Marouk. Nine points in his last eight games. Throws it in. And again, there's Bourgeois. Out to Mahar. Now they throw it across at center. And then the Blues lose it at the line as they're in the middle of a change. Here's De Palma. Wide of the target. Graham is on the ice. And the Blues clear it right back out. Now Roberts throwing it in again. Lockhart. Ran into McClellan, and McClellan lost his, or actually Flocker lost the stick. But Erko's shot was blocked by Beaupre, and Pavlich has the loose puck. Now Mark Pavlich leading the North Stars rush to McClellan. Pavlich heads for the net, and McClellan's shot was right on. Now Graham sweeping it around. McClellan jammed up by Pavis. Both players go down. Ramage jamming it around on the boards. Grandstrand could not keep it in. Solo spotted back in the neutral zone for the next draw as Brian McClellan will get set for the faceoff. Second in goal, third in points. And there is that great chance by the North Stars by McClellan's shot as Pavlich was breaking to the net. Forced outside by Rob Ramage on a good defensive play. And you see the man on St. Louis really on top of him. New Jersey Devils are making a good run late season here, but it, it is too late for them. Edmonton squeaking one out. Edmonton Oilers lost twice to Calgary last week. Even though Edmonton's still first overall, Calgary is only five points behind them. And that means they're also five points behind Philadelphia. So they're right in running for the President's Trophy, which is a two hundred grand, uh, two hundred thousand dollar prize. Yep. Gilmore bringing it in. Gets loose. Beaupre the save, and Hartsburg sweeps the rebound away. Kozlowski knocks it back in behind the net, and Grandstrand has it. His rookie partner, Franklin Musil, is sitting out for the second time in three games. Also not dressing tonight are Carlson, Maxwell, and Plett. Now they center it. Here's Kozlowski, a shot and a goal. Boy, they haven't come in to set up offensively very often in this period. But they really set up camp here and now increase that lead to five to three. Once again, it's the same old story. Minnesota just not checking well in their own end. Both two guys went after the one blue and Pazlowski just trailing in from the rear was wide open and had no problem. He just waited for his turn. Bellows trying to do the check, but here's two guys, both Hulk and Acton converging on one and leaving Pazlowski alone. And it turns into a three-point night for Pozlowski, who's got a goal and two assists. And now the Blues have a two-goal lead with just 12 minutes to play. We're going to have a penalty back behind the action. And I haven't a clue. It's a St. Louis player who's going to get the penalty. I think it was oh, it's Mahar going off. Rick Mahar, penalty killing specialist for St. Louis, will be missed here the next two minutes as he goes in at 7.21 of the period. North Stars will have their fifth power play chance of the game. They're one for four through the first two periods. Baruch will quarterback, if you will, this power play unit. With Cicerelli and Bellows on the wings, Hartsburg and Graham back on the points. Mahar number 22 is checked there by Brook and then kind of slashed him. Still no announcement on what the exact penalty was, but I guess that was it. 
power play for the North Stars, and they need it to pull within one. Bellows throwing a check to knock the puck loose. Bourgeois bumped by Marouk, and it's cleared all the way down by St. Louis. Indeed, slashing on Mahar. 7.41 the time. A minute and a half remains. Hartsburg drops it back for Cicerelli in the slot, and Dino's shot may have gone off the top of the stick of Millen. Dino you know, got the shot off. It was Russ. When you're a good goal scorer like Dino, you don't waste time. You just snap it away immediately, and that's exactly what Dino does here. Watch as he swoops in. The puck is loose. He doesn't have a chance to get control, so he just fires instinctively at the net, and it does go off the shaft of Millen's stick and up into the stands. Dino with five stitches under the right eye from that stick he took back in Boston. Think he'll keep the shield on? Yeah, I will, and I, I, uh, interesting to uh, await the next game when Jay Miller is on the ice and Dino's on the ice at the same time. There's a long shot by Graham. Uh, that won't happen this regular season, but uh, Dino won't forget either. Now a minute 20 left in the penalty to Mahar. Here's Bellows. And he throws it in. There's Bellows knocking it down behind the net. Checked by Natras. Cicerelli swats it free. Marook. Now it's picked off by Natras. Cleared, but a diving play by Mar Marook saved it for the moment. Then guess who? Gilmore gets it. Tied up by Hartsburg. And Graham comes back to uh, strip him of the puck. Here's Hartsburg again with 45 on the power play. To the St. Louis line. In a crowd. Tied up by Gilmore. Centers it in front. And Reeds is there to take it away. And clear it all the way down. Gilmore picked up his fourth point on the night, assisting on Kozlowski's goal along with Cavallini. Now here comes Boudelier. Rifles it in. 20 seconds in the power play. Lawton roughs it up a bit with Benning. Lawton has lost his helmet. And Lawton may get a roughing penalty here, I'm not sure. Gregson making a path again to the penalty box. He's had to do that on numerous occasions tonight. Roughing is the infraction. 9.24 the time. Lawton, the player. Watch as they go into the corner boards here. Lawton doing some jamming and the slow down. And he comes up and just throws a punch to Brian Benning's head. There's Lawton and his roughing penalty. He now leads the North. We've been telling you for quite a while that he's the North Star's leading plus-minus player. Coming into tonight, he is a plus-20. And that's just going to surprise a lot of people. That's great. That's a fantastic plus-minus. Now Roberts has it. We're four skaters aside for roughly another dozen seconds. Gordy Roberts. Throwing it back for Paul Boudelier. Pavlich tipping it ahead. Grabbed by the Blues. Beaupre wrapping his stick on the ice to signal the end of the penalty to Mahar. Denny centers it. Reed centers it. Shot and a goal. Why heavens, they make it look easy. Federko with the goal, and it's now 6-3. to three. Federko gets a goal. The man you're looking at is Doug Gilmore. I don't know if he'll pick up an assist on this. But he's on the ice behind the play. Federko bangs it in. That's Bernie's second goal of the game. Both of them on a power play. This is Brian Benning who's lent a lot of offense to this team, bringing it across the line. And what a year Brian Benning has had for a rookie. There's the score, 6-3. Benning has it again. Increases his team leading total among defensemen in points. Halfway through the third period. Now a big challenge for the North Stars who are down by three. But Erko lost it. It's grabbed by McClellan. Now Acton speeding in. Out shooting. Stick save. And it's cleared around again. Hauk to Rouse. Acton. And the puck was bouncing. How couldn't tee it up, but the Blues get it. At center ice, it's brought in by Flockhart. He's checked by Grandstrand. 
Beaupre playing it back around to De Palma. Larry De Palma at center avoids Flockhart. Now to the St. Louis line. He is checked and put down, and the Blues clear it right back out. Pryor flipping it in. And Cavallini has it. North Stars have Lawton, Marook, and Cicerelli up front. Here come the Blues again. Ronning flipping it in. Pryor with the interception. Good stick handling, then clears it ahead to Dennis Marook. Marook at the line, flips to the corner. He's tied up by Bothwell. And Mahar is there to drive it around, but it hits a body. Lawton centers it, and it's cleared away by the Blues. Ronning wrapped up by Roberts, who's trying to prevent a two-on-one. And Mahar's shot was stopped by Beaupre. Now Pryor, headman's at the center, but it got away from Cicerelli, and the Blues pump it back in. Well, with eight and a half minutes left and a three-goal lead, the Blues now are likely to do no more than just dump it in. Pryor throws it to the corner. Ramage first and to it. Playing it around Cavallini. Now back to Pavic and Pozlowski. Pozlowski with the three-point night was trapped at the far point. And now a little miscue behind the St. Louis net. Finally, Rob Ramage has it. Ramage missed 21 games this year with a knee injury, but is back in and among the league's best defensemen. Here's Grunstrand. Off the stick of Bellows, Cavallini plays it ahead, and Hartsburg picks it up now. Peg Hartsburg to Bellows. Bellows checked by Bourgeois. Shot deflected over to Hartsburg again. Grabbed now by Brook, but it was knocked away from him by Cavallini. And the rest of this game may be very frustrating to the North Stars and their fans because the Blues don't have to do a thing here except get rid of the puck, as Gilmore does here. Cavallini and Gronstrand, and Gronstrand goes down. Bothwell in the slot, broken up by Hartsburg. Hartsburg breaks up another shot, and the North Stars have a three on two. Here's Brook. Back to Rouse. Fires a shot that goes, oh, goal! It deflected twice and caromed into the net. Bob Rouse may never get another goal like that again, but he'll take it. It's only his second one of the year. And it's just a lame duck wobbler. He actually made a really good move here. Could have waited maybe a split second longer, but it went off a skate and a, a whack right here, and the puck bounced right into the net. A crazy hop and a bad break for the St. Louis Blues. There's the first deflection. And the second off the St. Louis player reads and into the net. So Bobby Rose gets the second of the year. Now Graham upended in the St. Louis end to the dismay of the fans. At the line, a long shot comes sliding in on Millen. Now Pavlich going hard after the puck. And the Blues clear it out. Boudelier gets a new stick from the bench and now heads for the puck. Six and a half minutes left to go in the game. They clear it around to McClellan. Now to Dirk Graham. Little pass over to Pavlich, but that fails to connect, and the Blues intercept and shoot it down. Now Chris Pryor goes back behind the net. Pryor playing it ahead. And Boudelier shooting it in. Pavise throwing it ahead. It's deflected over to Wickenheiser. Trying to get in around Roberts. He's tangled up. Ragland shot hit Wickenheiser, and that stunned Wickenheiser. Now how could drop pass to Pavlik. Pavlik has no one to pass it to, and then he's crushed by Pavis at center. How goes after it. It's cleared ahead. Here's a partial break. Ragland saved by Beaupre. Ragland is checked. And back to center right for Benning. They shoot it in. Grodstrand then played it over to Roberts. And it's finally tipped in the zone by DePalma. Grabbed by Roberts now. Roberts will try to set it up. A deflection! It went wide by DePalma. Hauk centers it. No one's there and the Blues clear. Yari Grodstrand back behind his own net. Five minutes to go. At center, DePalma. And they're offside. 
Rugged Larry De Palma, using his fisticuffs earlier in the game, was picked up as a free agent by the North Stars about a year ago. Out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And the concern grows deeper on the face of Lorne Henning, and he has changed over the course of the season. Worried about what's going on. Not much he can do. And here's that last breakaway. Roberts just forgetting about the man on his far side. And Herb Ragland waltzing in solo. Just fired for the five hole. Bobo made a big save. What do you think of this team? <laughs> North Stars have not won in five consecutive games at home entering tonight. You know, we talked to uh, Lauren Henning back during the summer. Talked to him about the near coach of the year honors and. He kind of shrugged it off, looked ahead to this year, and he says, you know, the second year of your coaching regime is always the toughest. Yep. I don't think he imagined it being quite this tough. Gilmore throwing it in. And Millen leaves it behind the net for Bothwell. It bounces loose at the line. Grabbed by Reeds. He is long shot, was stopped by Beaupre. And now it's cleared back at center. Bothwell once more. North Stars have four minutes to get two goals. Reed. Nice save. Rebound to goal. And Flockhart just about salts this one away. It is now. It's now getting to the point lead. where it's disgraceful. I mean, how long can the North Stars continue to play brutal hockey in their own end? They're not bad from center ice on, but back in their own zone, they're just not covering at all. You can't leave all that stuff for Donnie. Reeds lets the first one go. Donnie makes the save. Got to tie the guy up better than that. And Donnie, plain and simple, not happy. Seven to four, St. Louis. And an icing call here against the North Stars. Kozlowski having a big night for the Blues with a goal and a couple of assists. Boy, they just had another big offensive showing just over the weekend, even though it was in a losing cause, seven to six at New Jersey. Well, they're not a goal scoring team. And when you let seven goals in by a team that normally doesn't score a lot of goals, you really have to wonder what's going on in your own end. And the North Stars, over the last 10 games where they've won only one, have had a goals against average of just a shade below five. That is not the way to get ready for playoffs, folks. Millen playing it around. Mahar playing it back to the other side. Hellman in intercepts and tries to center. Now Raglan goes after the puck again. Raglan breaking up ice two on one. He centers it to Mahar and Beaupre comes up with a big save again. Now Bellows to center ice. Hellman and has it. Hellman and tries to center it. Roberts goes after the puck. Keeps it alive. Bellows has it. Three minutes left and the North Stars are down by three. Pryor waiting for it and apparently didn't keep it in, throwing it back in offside. Two fifty five left to go in the third period. And the Blues have an edge in shots. Thirty seven to twenty nine at this point. And a lot of the work again being left up to Donnie Bopre. You can't fault him once more. Defensive breakdowns. This time it happened back at the St. Louis Blue Line. Hartsburg broke in. And that's a common play where a defenseman breaks in. But one of the forwards has to realize that, hey, that's a defenseman. I better move back and pick up somebody. <laughs> Pretty simple game. 
Well, it is when you listen to people like Emil Francis explain it. He says he doesn't want any of the fancy stuff that are the wheeling and dealing back at center ice. This wants to go up and down the wings. Play steady, play solid. Certainly is a throwback to the old days, but it's working for Tex Evans and the Hartford Whalers. Well, there's not a lot of creativity necessary in your own end. I don't mind a team doing it when they get on offense and get past center. But for heaven's sakes, back in your own zone, it's been the same way since the game was invented. You pick up men, you cut off the passing alleys. And if you do that, uh, the game's going to police wins. There's Pavlich with a quick release and a goal. And Mark Pavlich gets his first goal as a North Star, making it now St. Louis 7 and the North Stars 5. Well, they're getting creative offensively. Pavlich was left alone. You saw St. Louis a little bit back towards their net. Pav went for that open area. Platted himself, and as the puck came out in front, bingo. Nice touch on that shot, would you say? Very little movement from Pavlich as the puck went into the corner for McClellan. Pav realized he was in an open area and just waited. Now a two-goal deficit with 155 on the clock. Still a big hill to climb. Lockhart flips it in, and Rouse has it now. And Hartsburg in his own end. Nice pass right under the stick of De Palma. Looking for Acton, who was checked. It comes loose to Hartsburg. He was wrapped up. There'll be a penalty on Federko here. Beaupre bolts for the net in favor of an extra skater, which is Marook, but the penalty is called here. And Hartsburg is a tired man tonight. What a whale of a game he's been playing. Hartsburg, normally a very quiet individual, but you can just see the emotion pouring out of him tonight. Now, like we pointed out earlier, there's nobody that wants to win more than Hartsy. A lot of times he figures he has to do it himself. But with John Mariucci passing away uh, earlier today, he's got more of a reason to want to see his team be successful. So the North Stars will go on their sixth power play tonight as Federico goes off for a hooking. North Stars of now they call the timeout or not? They want to try and get it going. It's not all over with yet. If they can get one right here and early in the power play, they would still have a minute to go to try and pull the goaltender and go with the big push at the end to try and make something connect. On the Pavlik, three of their last four games will be at a home. So you'd have to give an edge to the Blues for a second place finish in the Norris Division, which if they can hang on for a minute and a half, will have second place by themselves. They're currently tied with the Hawks at 68 points. Minnesota, I guess if there's a positive, they've had spurts of very good play tonight, some good offense. They have scored five, which is better than they've done in the last few games. Our stars going with six skaters here, having pulled Beaupre with a minute 28 to play. Against the Blues, four. In an effort to get two goals or at least one here early in this power play opportunity. Blue's got a big lift in this period when they were down 5-3 early and then just two minutes after Minnesota scored, they went with a three goal lead on a power play. Out of the corner, here's Bellows centering it for Graham and he just couldn't quite tee it up. Bellows again, his pass broken up by Benny. Now Marook goes in after it. It's cleared, blocked by Hartsburg, but it still comes out of the zone. Hartsburg flipping it in with a minute to go. Hartsburg goes in after the puck. In traffic, it comes loose. It's controlled by Pavlich. Bellows at the side has it go off his stick. Hartsburg has broken a stick, and someone on the North Star bench throws Hartsburg another stick, but there's going to be a penalty coming out of it anyway in the, out of the corner. It's like Brian McClellan skating over to the penalty box. So that'll even things up. And will we see the return of Don Beaupre into the Nets? 1915, the time of the call. 
There have been a lot of minor penalties in this game tonight, a lot of power play situations. North Stars will finish the game on a power play. And here, <laughs> you see McClellan's actually behind the play, and he yanks the legs out from underneath Brian Benning. Benning being put in a good role. He's not only offensive-minded, but the Blues are putting him out in a crucial situation here defensively, killing off a power play for the North Stars. And with the pulled goaltender, gives him two extra skaters, which now has been nullified. And Beaupre is still out of the nets. North Stars are now making a change, sending out the forward unit of Cicerelli, Acton, and Lawton. Another new combo. They will still have a five skater to four advantage, but that's only because Beaupre has been pulled. 45 seconds remaining in the period, and both of the minor penalties, the one to Federico and now the one to McClellan, will not end before the period expires. Cicerelli throws it back into the corner. Ramage has it. Played it to Gilmore. Cicerelli going after it. Now Acton is hooked from behind. And Ramage clears. It got past Hartsburg. Racing his board is Graham. A long shot and a goal. And the Blues make it 8-5 to five on that goal by Mahar. And it will be a shorthanded goal. Oh, that'll be called even strength. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. That's okay. Easily confused when you have a 13 goal game and eight of them against you. Rick Mahar just hustling after it at center ice. Mahar, a tremendous penalty killer. That's what's helped made the Blues one of the better penalty killing teams in the league. Just took a poke at it. Not much Dirk Graham could do beyond that point. Except watch it go in and the scoreboard light up. So Beaupre comes on. And each team will still be a man short for the rest of the game. The end of which seems to be a long 27 seconds away. It'll be Brooke and Gilmore in the faceoff circle. Mahar gets his first point of the uh, of the game with the goal. 16 seconds left as they flip it in. And they wave off the icing as Brook gets there first. He tries to center. Brook centers again. Hauk is tied up. The Blues sweep it away. Three seconds remain. Roberts playing it back around. And this hockey game comes to a very disappointing conclusion as Beaupre and his teammates file off for the dressing room before a nearly empty Met center right here. McMillan and the Blues pick up a win, their 28th win of the year. They will be three points below 500 still with that win. The North Stars, with their 36th loss, are now seven below 500 and now find themselves trailing St. Louis by three points. You're watching Network of the Stars. This buds for all.